everyone, how's it going? Y'all doing good today? I'm back, back in my starter stuff. You know what they say. See, so yeah, I didn't mean to stream this the past few days, but I've just been busy with stuff because you might have heard that I'm doing some uh, volunteer work, writing work with, with Ferrelli Luma, which is going to be held uh, next weekend. And that means, you know, we're stepping up stuff, just getting everything finished before. Yeah, that comes around, you know, like getting event descriptions written up. So yeah, just been a bit busy. One sec. Sorry about that, just had to open the window. It's getting kind of warm in here. I mean, summer's on its way in real life. Shame it can't be like in here where su summer's almost over, but you know. But yeah, Ferrari Luma's looking really fun. I'm probably gonna be there, so I won't be streaming that weekend, but still, I hope to see somebody there if any of you are going. Anyway, let's see. Ooh, I'm out of tri triple shot. Let's fix that. Go. Something something don't talk to me till something something coffee. Actually, what I'll take that for in here. Here are my here, amethysts. My dear wife. There we are. There you go. Starfruit son, hey baby. Just remember the last time we unlocked Mr. Key's wall in the room when basically where we have to do a bunch of challenges in order to get special piece of currency that we can use to buy all these cool items. So in the first challenge you gotta get to the bottom of the mines, but now there's a bunch of new monsters down there, so before we do that we gotta just do the usual and check on our farm and all that. Looking pretty good today. More magma, you legs. 
Ooh, three of them. Fancy. Make our coffee, make some more hops. Put some stuff away because we're gonna need to make some more room in a bit. Alright, kid. We have to make some tea for all the Brits British viewers out there. There we go. How are the mushrooms looking? Decent mix of the non-purple kind. Windmill hasn't been doing much. Still on the rabbits. Army flare. Gotta check on the fruit here. There you go, got our coffee beans, a cherry. One of our ancient fruits grown, sweet. Now I'm gonna actually not be selling this for water because I got a bit of a plan I want to do with these, so I've been looking up some end game stuff to like learn some of the best ways to optimize our farm money because we still need a lot of money to get some of the cool stuff. Another one of the best ways to do it is just set up an ancient fruit farm on Ginger Island because Ginger Island is always summer, so basically any fruit can be grown there anytime. Let's move some stuff here. And because of that, basically uh, all I need is to have a sprinkling, we're good to go. However, I actually real. I looked online and learned that there's a. Oh, them are going. Yeah, they are. There's a fertilizer that I think we can craft. Let's see. Oh. Noisy duck, huh? Let's see. Huh, I guess we don't have the recipe yet. Let me double check where to get that recipe. And as usual, hopping onto the wiki. Oh, okay, I got to get from the island trader. Gotcha. So, for 50 cinder shards, we can learn how to make this stuff, which requires stone, fiber, and a bit of clay. And when it mix into soil, it's guaranteed to stay a watered. So, all I have to do is put on a ton of ancient fruit seeds, mix in some deluxe retaining soil, and I basically got a big old, old ancient fruit wine farm going. And get that, we can get tons of money, and we don't have to worry about quality because quality doesn't actually matter for for making wines. Yeah, that's definitely a big plan when it comes to our farm. Put a bit more in here because I don't think we're going to be able to. We might have different qualities of milk from the cows. Being which, where are they? Oh, here's one. Here's a second. And a third. Cool. Get that cheesed up. Definitely gonna have to figure out some, some more. Yeah, just in the inventory space. Just wanna chop out since it's getting kinda annoying in the barn. Now I'll get some ancient seeds growing there. Get some all this junk processed. Let's see. This. Uh, yeah, I'll keep strange buns. Definitely gonna keep these star fruit for making some extra wine. I sure got the eggplant parm from. Maybe I got it from letter from Gus. Maybe that's what I'm thinking. Anything else? Oh, the cheese. There we go. Speaking of which, how many of those ancient fruit seeds do we have ready? Okay, so we're gonna have at least eight. Cool. And again, we're trying to get to the floor 120 of the mines now, since that's our current floor for Mr. Key. Oh, hey, we do have enough first. For, to get that recipe, so we can get on that as soon as, as we, next time we get to the island. Sweet. Anyway, let's see. Oh, yeah, tomorrow's a big holiday and going to be a sunny day tomorrow. Very happy spirits. Very good for mine. Or, what, which should be our final push. Oh, cool. We got two ancient seeds from this. Nice. 
put those in here and we should be good. Oh. I'll be sure to remember that we have that milk pail and that we gotta return it to the barn, but on that we're good to go. Again, I think I say this every time, but I always associate with this music with that one time RT game did a run where he killed everyone on the race car map and Hitman on the Hitman games and you know, he's just killing everyone who's using nothing but a fish. Pretty good stuff. Speaking of good Hitman videos, I recently got to I Am Cressy, I think his name is, where he's we did all these Hitman VR streams of him just killing a lot of people. He's, I just love how he just has that sort of personality of a serial killer as he's going about things. Just like where he's being all dramatic as he he's at like the cook in cookout and he just blows people up with the with the, the, with this, with the ducky and he's like three cheers for the ball. Hip hip hooray! Hip hip hooray! Hip hip! And he just plushes a plunger, blows something up. Hooray! He just really has like that sort of charismatic serial killer vibe, or at the very least, the kind of serial killer who's overly dramatic about how he kills everyone. It's, it's real funny. That's right, we have. Oh, wait, that's the wizard's one. Yeah, we should be able to do this. And you know, I'll still grab the gold ore since, you know, we could always use more gold bars. Especially since I know that there's one quest Mr. Key has forgot to give everyone stuff they love, and I know Clint's a big fan of gold bars. But no, we're not mining, we're picking. Let's see, just get some more inventory space. I was trying to figure what that was. Just a crossbow. Hey, evening, JC. How's it going? Just start up the stream, so. Right, just in time. Currently, just getting through one of the Mr. Key quests where we gotta go through the mines when they're slightly more dangerous. So far, making good progress. We've got like 10 floors so far. 15. Oh, cool. Got enough little shadow brutes, so that's another thing for guild completed. I know there are a few more we had to do. Like, I know the Pepper Rex is in the Skull Cavern War one, but I'm gonna have to double check that sometime. Oh, jeez. Yeah, that sounds hot. 113 degrees. It's not that bad here, but, you know, our home has an AC and we keep it like 77 degrees, but even then it can get really sticky. Yeah, summer's coming and it's here to cook us all. I still love how the, how the slime suit gets across Mr. Key's sunglasses. Is that radioactive ore? I'd get that stuff. That stuff's rare. The squid heads can actually take more than one hit now. And he also got six shades as well. Hmm, probably should put away the star fruit somewhere before we started. Oh, well, I can get her some slime for jade. that dangerous even though, even though these mines are dangerous but it's still annoying now and speak of annoying taking some sort of crossbow bolt I also sucks oh there's one I completely forgot about it I just gotten distracted by all the, the radioactive ore here anyway time for more killing and just realized I need more coffee there you go, get on over here. I'm 
almost tricked me there, but... Slash weird stuff happening, like oh, oh geez, let me uh getting a bit beaten up here. Is that up? There you go, y'all back up now. You hear? Yeah, I think like I know Morpheus. Y'all heard that where apparently Stoney decided to get the film a second showing. I Honestly, I never heard of that movie before. It's, you know, honest. apparently it's a Marvel thing about like some a chemist, a biologist who becomes a vampire, and yeah, not something I'm really used to. I don't really watch that many Marvel things or DC for that matter. But yeah, apparently we were just memeing out over the movie, even though it wasn't that great. And apparently Sony got convinced he wanted it so much they decided to air it to like 1,000 theaters. In the end, it only made like eighty-five thousand dollars, which is like eighty-five per theater. So. So it didn't do very good, huh? <laughs> this is amazing what all those goofy memes can lead people to do. Oh, oh yeah, I'm doing well, Zephyr. Just talking a bit about the whole Morbius meme that uh, caused... That caused Sony to try and re-air the movie in theaters and... To get a cool 85k. Well, more pathetic is probably the right word, but yeah, definitely pretty goofy. It's been goofy stuff. I remember apparently... T I think I, one of the people I followed was talking about the... Some Toronto indie comics thing, and apparently got into a bit of controversy because... One of the people they involved was some lady named Pink Cat, who apparently does some NFT stuff, but... You know, people started looking into all her stuff. And, and well, she also saw a lot of art tracing and... Ooh, hang on. Oh dang, that thing dropped in reading band. Hang on. Let's see, what can I get rid of? Oh yeah, definitely. That's pretty awesome, but I already have one. But oh well, into the into the loot crate. It I'll just toss some loot crate somewhere. Cause that's the kind of thing you don't just get rid of when you get there's a lucky drop. Anyway, near the end. Oops. Probably not gonna beat the mines this night, but I'll definitely be able to beat them tomorrow if I do go back. And we'll be back just in time to watch all the jellyfish. Ooh. That case right there. Still trying to get used to tab switch between rows and it always messes me up a little bit. Like, wait a minute, why am I trying to beat the school sunglass ring slime with a piece of gold ore? That's not gonna work. Neither trying to bribe him with it. I mean I can certainly try, but I think he's too cool for bribery. I just look at those shades. downside is I don't think I'll be able to beat that wizard's quest where he wants me to get the ectoplasm because I think it only drops from the regular ghosts and not the fancy ghosts he can find here. It kind of sucks because again his quests do seem to be kind of luck based. Or at least with the jelly one you can actually see when the jelly's going to drop it. There we go. I about to say these shops are being kind of stingy. Ooh, right, I have a few bombs left. Should definitely get, be enough to get me to the bottom. And then suddenly the screen just turns into a nuclear explosion as I blow up the radium and... 
the radioactive oranges cause a huge nuclear chain reaction. <laughs> Buff a bit on health. Place a bomb. There it is. One more floor. Ooh, I always have time to just pick up some random fly characters. Mmm, yummy. Yummy drug hallucinogenic poisons. Oh, and a purple shroom. That's, that's a def actually good one. stairs and we'll be good. Oh, oh, they're right there. Cool. One more mushroom for the road and there we go. We got our pay. Oh yeah, that's, that's another big thing we unlock is, is that shrine which you can use to switch the mind between the normal and dangerous Fridays. And the big thing about dangerous Fridays is that's how we can get the radioactive war. Speaking of which, let's make a bar of this stuff. Sure, putting it into a smelter shouldn't do, cause any problems. Yeah, let's cook. Yeah, gotta do some inventory sorting first. And I got the radioactive stuff right in. Here it is. There you go, two bars of it. Oh, right, gotta get some coal. Must actually put in the chest. Whoops. No, that's no problem. Go. <laughs> get some cloth to sell. Mm, where are the coffee beans? Here's some. I'm gonna the milk pill from our just so I can get it moved over. There go, got the coffee going again. And again, I forgot I had my sword in the wrong hot part of the heart bar, so whoop. So little purple guy got a free hit, but I got the rest hit since, so it doesn't matter. Night up, Gail. Right, Lola. I should mention it's entirely possible I t have to take a couple unexpected breaks today because on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we have our my sister's <laughs> son Carter over, so he can. And you know, sometimes he really wants attention or, or just needs help out my mom and taking care of him, so. Entirely possible I have to go stop and say hi, hi to him or something. Right, I forgot I always said that my thing I was gonna I was gonna put the mutant carp in there. Sunny and sunny. Grumpy spirits, but doesn't really matter. And roasted hazelnuts, sweet. I think that's actually important because that's one of the recipes Kent actually likes. Well loves actually. Yep, roasted hazelnuts. And what's the recipe for that? Let me see. Gonna mouse through here, figure out which one is roasted hazelnuts. And let's plum pudding. Oh, there it is. Just three hazelnuts. Okay, cool. So just some foraging is sounds pretty easy. Oh. Oh, where'd I get that? I don't know, but I feel the cosmos. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, it's just weird that she gave it to me first before that. New beats from the Shane, the jellyfish. And last for summer crops, including a nice, a nice, 
That's star fruit. That's what I was saying. Sturgeon got their eggs, but I'm out of space, so. Put those in there. I'm gonna have to do some more inventory juggling. Put that. I'm gonna put in red cabbage for now and. Let's just get all this stuff sorted. Uh, what else? I thought there was room to grab blueberries, but I can't remember. Oh well. Tomatoes, I think I want just for the fridge. More coffee. Poppies are gonna die next to tomorrow, so let's get those. And we've got a couple of radioactive bars. Known by this user stage safety commission to cause irreversible bodily harm, which is why I'm carrying it in my backpack. I'll be fine. And I just wake up tomorrow morning with a third arm or something like that. Uh, did I want to do some of this stuff? Uh, Honey, I'm probably gonna sell. I'll sell the poppy since Penny, Penny's the only one who likes those and she's already happy enough. That in there. Let's see. Probably put some extra stuff in there. There we go. Right, I think I'm on the blueberry for blueberry tart. Or, I know Linus loves them, but I, he's already maxed out with me, so. That's probably just going to be more for completion's sake. Alright, one more red cabbage. These, some... The all-important oak resin. Alright, forgot to cook the coffee. Oh, we'll do that right now, quickly. And it's going to be more of a chill day since it's a technically a holiday. There we go. There's the good stuff. I also want to move around. Uh... Right, the ribbon band I'll put in here. Another thing about the rings I forgot to mention is that apparently you can actually combine the rings. There's a little at the forge. There's you can. I think you need cinder shards too, but you can like combine two rings to get both their effects. So that's something I definitely got to do. The question is which ones I want to put together. Definitely radium band is going to be qualif- what? When I do? Probably the burglar ring as well. That That's one we don't have, I think. Which makes enemies more like to drop stuff. Alright, let's drop off the star fruit over here. Where... Right here. Yeah, just backlog for the kegs. I do think I have enough to get more kegs, by the way. Yeah, definitely got a bit delayed for some stuff this week, but definitely hoping I can get some. At least one more stream. Maybe tomorrow, maybe sometime this weekend, because... Well, this Friday, I'm probably going to try and stream new, some new Minecraft, just play around with that a bit, but... After that, I'll probably be looking at the whole, Wholesome Direct that's going on. You might know that by Wholesome Games. They're, they're holding, like, their year little... Sort of like what they call the Nintendo Direct, but... For all their cute heartwarming games and stuff like that. It's happening in the afternoon, I think. I'll have to double check the official listing. Let me. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, let me go take a look right now. Then I'll forget if I don't look, check it up. Yeah, 12 30 Eastern. Let's 
So yeah, that'll definitely be fun to watch. Ooh. Hang on, this is getting full, so let's take some extra stuff out here. Just those mushrooms mainly. And let's get the milk. And where's the third cow? Where'd you wander off to? This cupcake. Babu. Where's Chu? Where'd you go, Chu? Yeah, I definitely might need to do some renovation on my farm sometime. Oh, well, I don't... I don't need every cow every day. Anyway, back where it fucking belongs. Another gem. <laughs> and let's make some more kegs. Let's see, wood, copper, and iron. All right, the wood's right in here. These furnaces work in a bit. Go in. And no, they've got some more coffee beans in here. Here they are. Gotta refill my socks. Next time I'm getting low. Any get, let's get three more kegs in here and three more uh, starfruit brewing. Yeah, starfruit wine's like liquid gold in this game. Man. Tied along with the ancient fruit. I want to do today. Uh, Sandy's almost at nine hearts. So I could drop by and give her a flower. We normally want to do more there every day, but still, I'm, I'm fine just getting the flower dropped off. She's pretty close to 10 hearts, and once we get that, we don't have to worry about always bringing flowers to the desert or her mood decaying. Also, it's good to check here just because I know there are a few treasures that only spawn in this area. Nothing special though, so far today, but... And I should have brought some Omni Geos to trade for the treasure caches just to see if I could get something. Oh well. I already got the thing there, right? Let me see. Yes, I did. Get one of those weird dolls there. Oh, right, brought you a little something. There we go, ten hearts. So now I have left is Kenton. All we have left is Kenton Leo, and we just got one of the things Kent really likes, so. It should be a lot easier to make friends with him now. There 
here. I'm hiding right behind the tree there, coconut. And now we've got to, of course, check to see what the traders got for us. It's nothing important now that we're in the end of the game, but still always good to see. Yeah, I can't do that. Ooh. We've got to check on the island now. Good thing I checked, because I was failed that quest and wouldn't be able to do it for a while, I think. Just gotta harvest some terror root. And it had some growing, so that's all we gotta do. There it is. There we go. Another tropical goods delivered and harvested, so we're all good. And we're gonna sell the pineapples. I heard they're also pretty good for, uh, for making wines. Not as good as the ancient fruit, but they're good sort of middle thing while you're getting the ancient fruit farm set up. That reminds me, there's actually a... Sp Another thing you use with ancient bards. Oh yeah, he's talking about the little side quest, brain side quest. Yeah, I always just like to check that just to see what the big goal is that I gotta get. What remaining ones there are, because I know there's... You can buy a warp totem if you get, get enough of them. Well, big warp totem that you can just put on the beach, in your beach house and use warp back to your farm. So, you know, definitely worth researching out those last ones for. While I'm here, I might as well just mess around a bit and see what I can find. Any stuff to help progress some of the Ginger Island stuff. You know, like the fossil, which is supposed to be... Which you're supposed to be able to... You know... Oh. Where is it? Here it is. Up here. Nope. Oh, ah, that rock got in my way. Yeah, it's supposed to be able to pan it out of the water, to, but it's, it's, but the drop rate's been really crappy there. Oh, here it is. Uh, just some iron ore. Oh well. I'll put the pan right here, just so next time we don't get. Oh. Hmm, so soon. I'll take those. Yeah, definitely want some clay too, because we're gonna need that for the deluxe retaining soil, which basically means you never have to water crop and. I put that something some ancient fruit, I can really get my ancient farm going. Nah, I can't get that one. Game's teasing me. You no, know, while I'm here now, I'm curious. I want to see what, what walnuts are hidden up in the north, just so I can hopefully figure it out for the future. Let's see. I'm not sure if they could be in the dungeon or not, but we'll, we'll see. Clay. Not that I can see. This screen is out to see through any in hopes that more more valuable rocks spawn. By the way, any cool mushrooms in here? 
thought my inventory is full. Never mind. There it is. Nothing special. So got that one. That one, I think I got the one you need a slingshot for. Yeah, I did. I don't see it in there. Let's we get back to the farm, drop some stuff on, and bring back home for the festival. Bring the tiger. Again, remember we can trade coconuts for the ink for some gold coconuts because she has some decent stuff in them, so. Oh, I don't have 50 cinder shards on here at the here, so I'm gonna have to bring those back sometime. Let's see, I'll take some of these uh else. Not. Oh. That seems good. I'll put all the feet in there. We can't get a bone coconut today, so we'll do that. And no stingray. I kind of want to change that because I want to get a pond built for that fish because it's. Because it's actually a decent way to get dragon's teeth, and we're going to need a bunch of those for the island warp totem. So yeah, this is the one of the special things you can get those radioactive bars for. Get ten of those, you can get three of these, and then forge them with one of the galaxy weapons to get one of the best weapons in the game. Yeah, this is the thing I want. It's deluxe retaining soil. Ooh, should have brought along my... Yeah, my bone fragments to get that. But for now, I'll get a gold coconut. Give that to Clint tomorrow. Go. Try and catch a stingray before we get going. Shouldn't take too long. We're in a pirate turn tonight. I already did all I really need to do with them, you know, get the. Which is basically to get the golden walnuts from playing darts, but. I'm sure I don't mind me doing some fishing in the middle of our party. It starts to bit loud. This is definitely one of it seems like more, one of the louder songs in the game. There we go, got our stingray. Let's go. Pardon me, Luigi. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you're supposed to be Mario and Luigi right there. Yep, time to head home. Hey, Willie, hope I didn't keep you waiting long, but... And hope your boat doesn't drop the jellyfish. Yeah, this one, he always seems to know to wait for you. Okay, you dropped me out of here since you're setting up the festival. That's it. Okay, good to know. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to beat the wizard's quest since it requires the basic ghosts and I wasn't able to kill any of them while the quest is going on. Here we go. What do you sound for cool stuff, Pierre? I want to see foam pudding. I'll, I'll take one because there's a quest that requires some good fishing. Just chatting with the foe. I mostly want Kent, I guess, because he's the one that, whose relationship we need to prove. Oh, it's always harvest season for me. 
Now let's launch the boat. And I'm gonna go take a drink. Okay, I'm back. I figured this cutscene would be a good time to refill my water and all that, so... I just ran off quickly, but I'm back. Does Moonlight Jelly's Golf to unknown? I refill my coffee. Taught this guy in the tank. Especially since you're radium quality, so really gotta show that off. Pause all that. Put some of these spare beans in here. Take those for tomorrow. I need a recipe that uses tear root. I think I have one yet. Oh, yeah, poi. Oh. I'll just make some of that to add to the completion log. Alright, sing right here for the fish bundle. Fish pond, I mean. Probably have it right over there now that I'm thinking about it. He makes some. He's making some. A fancy old school dish at like one in the morning. It's like, why are you making poi at one in the morning? I've lost control of my life, honey. But you make like, you have like thousands, hundreds of thousands of gold. I know, I've lost control of my life. That's what happens when you get too much money. I'm actually just looking up poi now because now I'm just a little curious about what it is. Yeah, apparently some some native cuisine in Hawaii. Made from starchy vegetables like breadfruit or plantain. Okay. Or you know. Hey, now it's good old fall. Favorite season. <laughs> yep, it's fall. It definitely is lovely. Not as lovely as you. <laughs> Kiss a little too far apart there. Of course, that means you gotta plant down the farm again. Oh, I gotta use a scythe to cut these, okay. Chicken these, they're still going. I'm got 
our pomegranates coming in now. I thought that was a train for a second, but I think that's just some wind. And more coffee. Yeah, this is what we get from that. Basically produces his batteries if we have enough sunny days. It's slow but steady, so. Don't have to rely on it being summer and getting a storm like we're normal, but. Almost forgot to put this guy in his new home. Here you go, buddy. Hang on next to big old Junimo. Oop, forgot to check the news. Let's see. Rain and sun. Very happy spirits. And a game telling us about rare fruits like a year after we originally planted ours. So what do I want to do today? Oh, I actually got more oak resin than I thought. Okay. That's one thing we're doing. Broom business. Yeah, eventually Mayor Lewis is gonna be like, Mac, why, why has your shipping been full of wine? Or are you trying to tell me something about what, your lifestyle? I just have to say, no, sir, it's just really profitable. I'll put this in here for now. All right, what do I need for fish ponds again? Let's see. Stone seaweed and green algae. Yeah, definitely gonna do a Clint run today. So let's just clear out that area a bit. I sure Max is like a chainsaw. Makes me wonder if a chainsaw would be like how powerful that thing would be. Should be good now. Let's get the rest of this farm stuff done quickly before we forget. First cow. Second cow and third cow down there. There we go. Alright, put away the bucket just for that extra inventory space. Oh, so precious. Army chickadees. You've got the nice feather for, feather for Leo. Place something away just quickly so I can, act, so I can start collecting mayonnaise. No, don't eat the egg yet. market is for for those for the white mayonnaise because the game says it has the smell of burnt hair or something like that yeah so yeah I wonder who would use it under food I mean I think the gob that goblin henchman and like the stuff I remember but I can't imagine any of the other stuff anyone in re reality wanting it because I don't know many people who want to eat something that smells like burning hair All right, got to, got to get my stone for the thing right. Got to keep that in play. The cheese and stuff off. Okay, got a little mushrooms in those pinches. That's cute. All 
Right, last got to check the greenhouse. Oh, no mushrooms, right. Uh, that's right next to the greenhouse, so don't have to worry too much. Bunch of basic shrooms, which you can probably find everywhere now this fall. New wave of coffee got, got coming in. Okay, first off, I want to go to Robin and see if we can get that thing built. Fish pond, I mean. And then we'll think about what to get from Pierre. For seeds. Oh yeah, we can also make a the house upgrade for Pam, but... We have enough money now, but I want to make sure to get a fish pond first. I must make sure it's looked back with me since that's another thing that Connor would get in the future. But, but for now, we're going to get one more fish pond. I can move some stuff around to get the fish pond over so right a bit, but yeah, that's where it's going for now. Oh, that's done? No. Blackberry's bound now, this... Maybe 100,000 scope, but I still gotta check things. What should I have to double check if any questions of the repeated kind, just to... Demetrius's are definitely the kind that you have to... that can appear more than once, but... Okay, so the Robins one is actually a one-time only quest. We're doing that one. All I just gotta do is give her some hardwood and quit laughing. Besides, she's we're both already married. But first, hey, button. Needs to go break all these geodes. And this coconut. Ooh, mango slapling. I'm not sure if, how many mango saplings, if we have any mango saplings growing already, so I'll hang on to that for now until the, the ones in my greenhouse have grown up and can see what they are. Alright, which of these have I donated? All these okay, so... Those... Yeah, I'm gonna be a bit slow here since I unfortunately gotta don't have much room in my inventory. I can't just sell some of these seeds in the sap. There we go. And just speed things up a tiny bit. Clay gonna be useful for the deluxe retaining soil. Pretty sure I already have that. Three of these. I'm not a fan of buying dwarf shots, eh? Okay. I actually know such fine dwarvish headgear. Got that already. Got that. I got that. Oh, I don't. Or something that's going to the museum in a few minutes.
I probably shouldn't have sold the coal. Oh well. I swear I heard the name Dolomite before as part of a movie. But I think it was like some old action flick, I don't remember exactly. I don't watch too many movies, especially with the pandemic going on, but. Okay. New Iridium. Clint, you're almost done. For now. I'm gonna run over to the museum and drop some of this tiger's eye off. Alright, there we go. A bit more. I think that's every mineral we can get. Now I just gotta get these last four artifacts. We'll have a complete museum. And one more round of geodes, Clint. Come on, you can do it. Well, one more round minus me occasionally having to sell you some of these because I don't have. Because my pox are big, but not infinitely big. Come on, Clint, keep hammering. Drum. Uh, do you want to get rid of anything else? Uh, I can get rid of shrooms. So they can get tons of them easily, especially in the fall. That's where we actually grow in game. If you don't have the mushroom cave. Almost done, Clint. Just one more quick. Blow it off, and we should be good for a final round. Let's, come on, Clint. Show those rocks you mean it. Okay, fine. One more round. Let's, uh,. I'm sure we're gonna do all these. Maybe make some fancy jewelry for Emily or something. I'm sure she appreciate you more if actually did this off for him just being a nice guy. And so he last these and we're good. Thanks, Clint. Hope I didn't make your arm exhausted. Okay, now to plant seeds for the farm. Let me check the schedule. No big birthdays this month. It's Andy's birthday, but we've already got our, our big friend. Got 10 stars already. Let me see the stuff in my collection quickly. Yeah. Well, first, let's see the seeds actually. first. 
I also want to kind of look, see what I've shipped just so I can try and ship more of it because, again, I gotta get like 15 of stuff shipped to really beat the game. I might want to get some amaranth for the salmon dinner and for cooking in general. Well, that's one of the things I have to ship. It's not even marked in the thing yet, even though I've already made it. Also need a bit for salmon dinner, so 16 there. For wheat, I want pretty good there, but I can use it some to make some tomato. I think I got a bunch of already. Wait. What about artichokes? Uh, 14 there, I think. Does he need to get one for the super meal? Yeah. Beats, I think I got enough of. Let's see. I could just ship 14 beats. So let's make sure we get them. Just remember what I'm trying to get. Jokes I needed. Uh, 14 art jokes. Next up, uh, beats. I think I just need to ship 14 of them. Get them from Sandy. Okay, I'll do that. Bok choy, I'm gonna need one for the super meal and... Yeah, okay, I haven't even shipped it yet. So, I'm gonna need 16 there. I'll probably go for just for profit. At first, let's see how many eggplants we need. Teehee. Okay, I'm gonna need a few eggplants just for some food, so I'll grab like five of those, I think. And now we're just gonna quickly drop this off. Yeah. Get those set up and then we can get some more seeds. Okay, so first off... You don't really have to worry too much about watering these. I'm sure about that. I mean, fertilizing those because... The, the fertilizing only really is important for the first thing and... I'm also using these for cooking. First, I do kind of want to fertilize, so. I'll grab those. Oops, 
Didn't mean to... Okay, out there. Let me fix that. The coffee cakes. Now quickly back to the store because I think the time's gonna run out in just a bit. It closes at four, I think, right? Or five. I forget, but by the way, I think I should be able to get some more seeds before the day ends. Yep. Stay there, buddy. Okay, so... Let's see, Fairy Rose. Okay, ship 13 of them. Okay, I'll grab some grapes for... Them. Apparently we haven't shipped many of them, despite the fact that they're literally just grown all over the place. I'm not sure they do count for, uh... Forager for, for shipping, but we'll do just be safe. And pumpkins. How about what are, move those? We got. Oh, we got a ton. Okay, but. We've got a few things to cook with those, let's see. Autumn's bounty is... There, pumpkin pie and pumpkin soup. No, that's rhubarb. Big difference. Pumpkin pie recipe. Where are you, pumpkin pie? Maybe I missed it? Because usually, I could have sworn I got that from the Queen of Sauce episode in winter last year, but I'm not seeing it. Ah, maybe I did miss it. Oh well, I'll keep around just in case. Taking one last look. Yeah, I might have to go another year to get it. Oh well. That's for pumpkin soup. Oh, oh, it's right there. Never mind. Cool. Okay, we did get it. Okay, so I think I have three for those. I'm check we need uh, 13 of those. Uh, I'll grab like eight of those because they regrow. Three pumpkins and three yams. I'm not seeing the yams, so I'll grab like 20 of them. Actually, got me a few extra because I need them for the for the bees. Oop. I'll sell this uh, spare mix seeds. A little more than I wanted, but that's fine. Oh wait, I forgot the pumpkin. Shoot, the store closed now. 
Oh, cool. Hey, I forgot to grab some pumpkins. See ya. He also has one cherry. And burn a few extra pumpkins, so I know you gotta, can make a jack lantern with them. You know, just nice that went out to celebrate the whole holiday spooky season. There we go. Okay, I think I got everything. out of here. Yeah, I'm not too worried since these pumpkins are going to be used for cooking, so don't need to use those. Uh... Grapes don't need to worry about too much because, again, they only affects first harvest, so fertilizer is a little less useful for those. Oh, Alfie's ready. Oh, let's make sure these all get watered as well. Let's throw out these seeds as well. Well, now what's next? Uh, 20 M, 16 Bok Choy, and Fairy Roses. Most of them are already in pre watered spots, so we can just do that. Here we go. Grab a bit of fertilizer for these since some of them are actually going to ship. And. Like, Bok Choy is going to ship, but. How much, do I have enough sap to make it? All the fertilizer? Oh yeah. Popping intensifies. Yeah, again, the fairy roses are useful for making that diamond powder, whatever it's called, the fairy powder, whatever, that you can use to instantly make things like kegs and stuff speed up, but it's honestly not that worth it. And finally, the bok choy. Yeah, I was gonna say I was, I was right above the seeds and I was like, oh god no, don't don't kill the bok choy just planted. But it might turn out fine. <laughs> Trying to kill, kill that bat with a coffee bean. I'm just trying to say, hey man, let's not fight. Let's just get high on caffeine instead. Okay, that one's nasty. Hey, really more sweet. 
Okay, now finally just plant these last two fairy rose seeds over here. And that should be it. Right. I'm just gonna clear this area out a bit just to so I can move my thing over. And just keep the coffee flowing. There we go. Anything else I gotta do? Right, might put the mango sapling away for now, just to see whether or not I'm gonna got some mango trees already growing. Sell some of the stuff I got up in here. Put a duck feather. Ooh, right, these kegs. Gotta get those going. Speaking of kegs, good timing, because looks like some of these kegs are already. The mine's already. There we go. I'm gonna see a big load of money tonight. There we go. It all in there. Every keg working? Good. Now dump all the sweet, sweet wine in there and try and convince Mary Lewis that I'm not some sort of alcoholic. Yeah, I'll put this in there for now. What was the weather like tomorrow? Uh, let's see. Rain tomorrow and sun. Okay. There we go. Half 100k. Nice. Oh, we'll, we'll see what we can do about growing pumpkins. Oh, I've got to take the gold from that quest. Ah, okay, I actually got to get the hardwood first, and then I can add the hardwoods to the stockpile. Okay, so we're going to work on that as well. Hey, another piece from Shane. Thanks, man. All right, got to get a star food grown here, just a little indicator when the main harvest is done. Got a mushroom tree growing on our farm. That usually happens in this in the fall sometimes. That's that's kind of neat. It's more of a fun little thing and not actually a big important thing. Like, like sure you can get a mushroom tree growing from if you buy one from Mr. Key's walnut shop, but that's not really important. We've got more oak resin, which means, of course, more kegs. Got two seats here. Yeah, let me check the wiki, see if those are mango trees or banana trees. Survey says those are both mango trees. I mean, one appears to be facing the opposite direction from the other, but there's both. They can, I can get the mangoes from them, so. That means that one mango sapling is probably just going to get sold or something. 
Oh, we want the banana trees right now. And get more seeds out of that for our big old ancient fruit farm on the sea. Everybody get all their stuff. I always love how the rabbit's little sound effects are just like a sniffing noise. It's, all, it's all awfully cute. And get the stuff from the cows. Okay, I'm gonna try and get the. Okay, I'll just uh, drop these coffee beans on the ground for now. Oh. Okay, yeah, gonna have to put some of the way and then get the milk first, cause it takes a little too long to get the milk for it to register. Oh. Okay, got. It. Okay, this time give it to me. Well, that's weird. It's inventory full, but I guess I got the milk anyway. Okay, put that away. Put these back. Oh, wait. There we go. Yeah, tap that mushroom so you can get various mushrooms from it. Mostly of the regular... Mostly like regular red and purple sometimes, so I'll probably just chop it down at this point. It's it's one little thing if it happens early on, but it's not really that interesting now. Let's see. Let's bring that and uh make more kegs. I need cold for that, right? First, more coffee. Some more ancient fruit seeds, which I'm probably going to be definitely going to be bringing to the island. Toss away a few extra mushrooms and just some green tea for now. Put it in work home for now. I'm not gonna need it. I'll probably just sell sapling against the skin. I've already got enough of those for now. And uh, what else? All right, put away that wood and oh, what else Shuffle's doing there? Oh, I'll get those made into oils. I think I'm forgetting something now. Okay, right. Get, get these put in there and make those... Get them going. Probably gonna need some more wood to get the big shed upgrade. Which you're gonna see more room for more kegs. More kegs means more star fruit wine growing. Or ancient fruit wine eventually. That's the main big end game goal. Let's see. Yeah, it needs 2,000, 20,000 gold, I mean. 550 wood and 300 stone, so. I'm gonna get to cut wood chopping today.
Iridium Chainsaw go burr. Irrelevant energy becomes once you get into a late game where it's like in the old days I probably couldn't cut through all these stuff getting exhausted, but I can't really use up like a four of, of my energy today. Partially because I'm good at the tool, partially because I've got a great tool, and partially just because I've got so much energy on me. It should be good for now. Let's start checking out the lower part of the area. Well, the, you know, down here where. I think I planted some mahogany trees down here. Let's get them. One of these is mahogany. There it is. Next remember, we've got that quest for Robin to get some hardwood for her. So she can make herself a cool bed. Get a bit more feed. Anyway, let's get that goat we want to buy. Mostly buying it just so I can make use of the... Make it use the fact that it gets unique milk, which is going to be the thing we need for it. Uh, Mimo's a cute name, sure. So check out the secret force, get the all the hardwood going on in there. No. I'm curious, where the hazelnuts go? Because I'm not seeing any so far. Okay, I guess I'm just unlucky right now that you do appear in the, in the fall. Yeah, I'll still just grab some of these mushrooms on here. And I need to drop mahogany seeds, which is also going to be good for getting more hardwood. That's all for today, but we've got a good, let's see, 21, so we got a quarter of our goal in a day, and we have a little under a week to get the rest, so we should be good in this quest. Some good fiber here today as well, because you know that's going to be important as well for some projects I, th I think are going to be uh, coming up soon. More importantly, just the fact that clearing out all that stuff gives us more room for stuff to spawn. Stuff, of course, meaning like foraging items. Everyone 
get some hazelnuts, because remember the roasted hazelnuts are something Kent really loves, so. Yeah, follow your twos when you can really start getting your relationship with them going. Yeah, there's a surprising lack of hazelnuts out here today. Hopefully we'll see more in a couple days or so. Yeah, I might just check the rope to Mountain Sea throwing up there. Just because I really want to try and get some made. Oh wait, do blackberries have anything I can make out of them? Okay, Blackberry co Cobbler, cool. I'll try and grab a couple then. Oh, right, I got these stumps too, I forgot to cut. Let's get those. Yeah, these will make the quest a lot easier, because these are like a dozen hard extra hard work per day, I think. Another hardwood tree. Put in a couple more right down here just for if we need some more hardwood quickly. There we go. I think the goat's gonna be asleep, so no point in saying hi to it today. We're finally low on coffee beans, so that's all done. So we have extra stuff for the fish. Anyway, right, we're gonna go check the mountain for some extra stuff. I see any hazelnuts that's hanging out there. One. Get the oil going. There we go. Some might spawn up here. Let's go check. Maybe some spawn up here. No, but I'm seeing tons of rocks. All my oak seeds, uh... Oh no, I got ten here. Cool. Okay, I gotta plan for, to do some stuff with the quarry. Ooh, there's one. There's a second. Hopefully we'll find a first third sometime soon. All in there? Ah, I just missed it. Oh well. I didn't get whatever the skill was going to give me tomorrow. So obviously lots of rocks in spawn here, but you can you can't put stuff in here if you want to do something in here other than rocks. And it's going to make a bit of space here. And what I'm going to do is use this to get even more smoke resin growing. 
need to clear out a bit of space and then... Okay. I'm not sure how much space exactly needs you need to grow, but... When they grow, I can slap some tappers on them and then they'll, they'll give you even more resin. And, and again, resin is going to be important if we want to make even more kegs. Because when we get our ancient fruit farm set up, we're going to need all the oak resin we can get. Somebody here just see if there's anything over here in terms of hazels, hazelnuts, whatever. Don't see any in. Why don't plums use for anything now? Okay, plum pudding, sure. Get some of those, assuming I haven't crafted it yet. I haven't, so. Load up on the rod a bit. That should be good for today. Good night, Lola and Abigail. Cool. <laughs> Loudy and sunny, okay? Good humor and just double check in case there's anything I forgot. Okay, pink cake, cool. Let's just make that plum pudding now. Oh, I have enough to make the rose hazelnuts, cool. And now let's make all the espresso. I haven't made maple bars yet, let's see. No, I haven't. Okay. Cool. And some of the stuff from yesterday and... Okay. Eels got their row for us. I know the kegs are slightly uneven in their production, so just got to check occasionally. Ready for stingrays, let's go put ours in. So we got three of those, good. The bars are growing, the mushrooms are here. Yeah, before I forget, drink our coffee and also we'll get some stuff out of our inventory because a lot of these are mostly just cooking them just because the, the game wants us to get like completion and all that but so just ship off some plum pudding the maple bar hang on hang on gotta get that process first oil and i'll get rid of the eggplant parm it's just been sitting in my inventory for too long didn't get gross at this point Hang on, now that I put a stingray in, let me just take a look at what we can get from it exactly, and when. So the dragon teeth don't come until we get to 9 and 10 of them, so we're going to have to focus on those. As upgrades, we need cinder shards at 3 and a dragon tooth at 7. Or 5, that's what I meant. Luckily we already got one on us, so that shouldn't be a problem. Can you 
got those sweet gem berries here. Sweet. And another Stormer coffee here. Hell yeah, coffee time. Wait, was that a sweet gem berry up there? Oh no, that's just like a random pod plant. Okay. That's all the eggs. Now for the milk. Let's put this in here just in case I need more than one inventory space. Oh right, they always give us the the goats as a bait, the cows and goats as babies. What are you doing all the way down here, girl? There you go, cupcake. Yeah, I meant to mention this before, but I did a, a few of the cows after like some or just some furries I know, like Cider Bunny, Fleer, or some of the rabbits. They've, they've done like some per first one art of me. Like this one was done by Cider, this one was done by Cupcake. Yeah, I don't know any goats or, though, but so you know, just a nice little give a bit of a shout out to the artist who did some of my first missions in the past. Oop. I just forgot the row. There we go. Anything else that needs processing? Can't process the gem berries, but. So that's going in as is. Salmon, the wool, the mayo. Right, gotta chop up those thumps today, cause. Cause Robin wants that hard wood. And I'm gonna keep making jokes about it because I'm a child secretly. Of them. I'm gonna chop down more of these pine trees because they're all just getting everywhere. Too many pine trees. I'm not fine with the pine. Some of my final tools upgrade to iridium. I should do that sometime. The question is, which one I do first? Yes. I think I heard a pig digging up a truffle. Where are you, piggy? Come here, piggy. Here it is. First, let's go down to the forest and get some of those. Some more of that hardwood cut up. Grover, I'll leave you out here. Partially because there are slimes in there, it might try and muck you up, and partially because there, there's too much stuff in the way for you to get in there easily. Anyway, time for the whole hardwood grind. Oh, there you are, slut buddy. Didn't even see you there. Oh, 
What's your one down there now? Okay, Duke. Pass south of the area, just look for my heart. Hazelnuts, and then... Then demonstrate why I'm really looking so hard for hazelnuts. Oh, while I'm here, I want, might as well take a look at one of the stuff I can get from the wizard again. Just think about which of the totems I want to get first. Let's see. Huh? One's not really impressive. That one's okay because the beach is where I can get to the, the island if I want to. These are the ones I really want to get. I might save up for the desert obelisk. I need some iridium, coconuts, and cactus fruits, so... I'm gonna have to take a few trips to the desert first to get some cactus fruit and save up on those. Treasure Island one is nice, but I'm gonna have to get some banana trees first, and... I'm gonna need to get a banana sapling first. get from the golden coconut or from the dragon teeth so yeah that's definitely not gonna be happening first I'm gonna mushroom there Hang on, let me cut away fruit for you Grover Speaking of Muppets, have you ever heard of that art program, Dal E? It's basically a AI art generated program which takes your prompts and generates like several pieces of weird art from them. It's I've seen it in pro progress and it's pretty amazing. Like not in like the it's really cool groundbreaking technology, but like is that, oh that's a rock. Like a few nights ago, I saw Arthur Blues and his friends do this sort of art show night where they're just playing around with the art, and it was pretty hilarious just looking at some of the prompts like. The Muppets in Hellraiser, just, it was amazing. And I was just cracking up at it as well, just. You know, it's like definitely one of the things that makes it hard to sleep just because it's so funny. Anyway, time to get into town and try and... Let's see in here, Kent. God, now I'm just remembering a different Ken from, a, from this crappy RPG game. His name's Ken Buckle. The game is... Here it is. Hey, Ken. It's fall. That means it's a season for liking me. Yeah, roasted walnuts are one of the things he loves to get. And you have to wait a bit before you can actually get the recipe in. So it's definitely good we're able to get some in the fall. Yeah, no, eight hearts? Cool. Is that gonna do something at the library today or. No, I don't know. I don't know why I was thinking about that, just popped in my head for some reason. Ooh, hey, free breadstick. Nope, I'll take these blackberries because I know there's a recipe or two I need for them. Ooh, wow, this field's getting super weak needed. Let me get that for you. Ooh, we'll warp this way. We might as well get that reward from Gail for killing all those shadow brutes. I remember this one is actually a pretty decent one. Let's just grab the back players just so I can see if something else spawns in their place. You know, like hazelnuts. And if I'm doing that, I might as well grab the mushrooms as well. Wait, so I'm going to have to talk drop into upgrading my shed. Gotta probably try and do that tomorrow or Friday, whichever day she's available, because I know she takes you off one of those days. Hey, Gil, I did some cool stuff. Give me something cool. Oh, the Savage Ring. That's, that's all right. Let's see, what's next? The sprites and a bunch of other creatures outside the main, the main cave. Okay. I'm 
little curious of their dangerous equivalents count. You know what, I can test it real quick, I think. Okay, so it was at 301, right? Keep that number in your head, folks. So let's just put in this, this. I think I'll just take... Uh, 50 sounds like... Oh, okay, we're in the... Okay, switch back to non-dangerous form. Oh, good news, that means I can actually kill the dust sprites. Let's just go like floor 55 and then keep searching around for those dust sprites. When oh, there's those ghosts, sadly we don't, don't have the quest anymore. But... Okay, I'm gonna see if those they spawn right back in that area. If you can easily get them or not. I'm gonna have to spend a day, day or two farming, farming the sprites to get that goal. And I think it's the burglar ring which makes it more likely for monsters to drop things, so that's gonna be useful. I'm sorry, I don't really have much else going on today, so I can spend some time grinding. No, at least not grind dust sprites. They're covered in soot and will get your, your pants all dusty. I heard one more around here, but no, okay. Oh, right there it is. Yeah, I always for yeah, I always miss it when it spawns right in front of you. See another one jumping down there. Making little chatting noises. I feel like I made decent progress on this today at least. Just from the small handful we've gotten already. And you really gotta focus on some of these quests you really wanna get working on. Juke the slime. Oh, there's one already. Oh, and I'm not doing this one. The spiral pattern is always a bit annoying from what I remember. It should be done by the time we do our last pour into the ice level. It's a question I legitimately want to know, though, if if the danger equivalent also counts, because like instead of the dust dust sprites, you get like these mushroom spore things, or whatever. This is, this is ice floor turns into like a forest area, complete with walking stick bugs. As you know, LL gets stick bugs. There's Come on stairs, there's one more floor. I just want to kill a few more dust sprites. Or soot sprites, I think that's what they're supposed to be, soot. Being stingy with the ladder all of a sudden. There it is. 
Yeah, I'm probably just gonna head out for now. Okay, just drop off a few things from the mines and then we can call it a night. Right, of course, we actually can make two trips because I have plenty of time. I actually want to keep the end with me on at all times and I'll put it with a savage ring. Okay, well, plum. Let me. I'm not sure if crystal fruit's important for anything, but I'm gonna keep it around just in case. Let's see, what can I sell quickly? I think I can sell that pine cone, and bat wings. One thing I do before I go to bed: get the truffle oil going. There we go. Yeah, there we go. 13,500 from those sweet gem berries. Pretty nice, but not as nice as getting all the sweet wine going. Ooh, friend mushroom, thanks. I still need to make friends with George. That'd be really good for him. Let me see what the crystal fruit's for. Oh, nothing looks like. Okay. I'm gonna check on the island today just to get some stuff going on there and. Uh, what was the thing I need 54? Right, the deluxe soil. Yeah, get the ancient fruit farm going. Gonna want to get some seeds going. Some uh, seed makers going as well. So, Let's see, it was wood, iron, coal, and gold bars. Yeah. Get some inventories. Also, that because it's not that useful at this point in the game, and especially since George already likes me maxed out now. Who's uh, the fiber in here? There we go. Get those. Oh. I'm pretty with that spare savage ring. I don't think I'm gonna use it for the to combine things, but we'll see. Let's see. There it is. No game, just want my coffee. I might take a second duck feather just for Leo. If I stay the night. Okay. Oop. No, put that in here. There. Be good about going down is that, that way I can start getting more Mr. Key Kests done and spend my first tokens or 
But you can get some good stuff there. Oh, here comes a big batch of seeds. Yeah, they've got a nose plant on the island. Give me girls. Okay, gotta clear out some more inventory space as usual just to get the eggs all sorted out. Be all those. Think I'll take them easy today. Ooh, pig found a trio truffles over here. Which I filled up my inventory, so gotta quickly put that away. That should be good. Okay, oh, I guess she popped that outside when I wasn't looking. Hello, sweet baboo. Oh, there we go. I was wondering what was going on. Just had to get the right angle, I guess. There we go. I want to get more of those going, actually. Let me see how many what they need to make. Slime hard one to gold bar. Okay, I can think. I think I can make one more. Gotta make a bit of inventory space here. Fine, hardwood, there we go. I'll just make the one for now. I don't need to go overboard with them. Ooh, nice breezy day out in Stardew Valley. Always love those windy days. Right, I was gonna make something with the black bear. What 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 didn't I need? It's blackberry sugar and wheat flour, okay. What am I out of? Oh, I don't know how to make it yet. It's gonna be coming up in a year, in a few, a couple weeks. Oh, pardon me, honey. Okay, that's why. I just gotta wait on this for now. Now let's see what I'm gonna need to bring to the island. Okay, so I'm gonna need 50 cinder shards, which I'm gonna grab right now. I'm gonna hang on some coconuts, because I wanna... Or do I? Hmm. Just bang with I wanna bring some to... You know, to... Give the trade all. I'll give some, just bring some just in case. Put away the hardwood. Don't need these coffee beans. I think I need those. In which I still have some left over in that thing over there, so let's get those. Still so got all the chicken coop stuff. So I know I left my ancient seeds in either there or in the, or in the barn. Friendly evil chicken. Okay, 
Okay, there we go. Now what do I need for the deluxe retaining soil again? I know I need... Okay, stone, fiber, and clay. Let's go grab as much clay as we can. Along with a pile of stone and fiber. Just making sure I don't need anything else. I th think that's good for now. So let's go. Okay, first off, time to get... Seed maker scone. And if Rod just pokes his head and asks what's going on, I say, Capitalism, baby. Alright, oh, I should probably first get the recipe first so then I can start. Are getting all the work going. Two more, there we go. Okay, first let's just go say hi to Leo and give him his stuck feather. I'm not sure where he is. Oh, there he is. Okay, now let's go get that recipe. And there we go. Now we know how to make a deluxe retaining soil, which, which just keeps all my soil water all the time. Checking the cheese once again because again we want to get coconuts from these so we can. Ooh, gold coconut buried. Nice. That thing's wearing off. Gotta reload. It's really nice that the. They give you these rocks which give you clay, so I don't have to worry about like digging and hoping I get fix them up. Uh where's my pan? There we go. Now let's sell the cherries and the mixed seeds. They just get some easier placements whenever I need more, more clay. Is Scapula something I need for this thing? All right, gotta talk to you to get it. Let's see? No, it's not. Okay. Yeah, shaking every chair. Walk by hoping to get some more coconuts. Stop and buy, that's cool. seeds to plant for today.
Oh, since I've got some thunder out today, this afternoon. Hopefully that doesn't affect the stream. I don't think it will, but just, you know, just saying it just in case suddenly my screen crept up. Did I get you there? No? Okay. Now I'm just teasing. So yeah, these things will stay watered forever until I actually replace the crop and the fertilizer wears off on its own, so. As long as I don't replace it, I don't have to ever water them. But at once, it'll be good forever. Now let's go turn and send those, those gems we've got and see what other quests we can do for Mr. Key. I'm pretty sure that's now his name's pronounced. Oh yeah, I think they actually... Let me just look quickly. I'm not sure if it's like the thing in the... Okay, yeah, so they start on uh, Sunday, so I had less time than I actually have to do to actually get these done, so... These will be a bit tough, actually. I mean, I could try the Hungry Challenge. I have to level 100 without eating or drinking any items. The thing is, you can use stair cases in this is challenge. Big slimes will occasionally drop some hearts that heal them, and you can get a vampire ring, which will give you some extra health whenever I kill a monster, so... We'll just take that just in case we decide to try it. Thanks for rewards. I'm going to take the Juno chests. Basically, these... They're just connected, when, so I can just buy one and... Yeah. So I can place one on the farm, place one on the island, and their inventory will be connected. I only have nine slots, though. And for our second thing, we're getting the Heavy Tapper. Works twice as fast as a normal tapper. I'm getting a recipe for it, rather. Yeah, that's gonna be important stuff for getting more of this good stuff. This, of course, meaning code for resin, which I can make into kegs, which I can use to make wine, which I can use to get ridiculously rich. I know I'm kind of ruining the game a bit by. You know, looking up guides and stuff for it, but you know, I am at the end game. Just kind of want to figure out how it gets gets stuff done really good, and efficiently. Uh, I can actually put these off in the uh, stuff off in the bone grinder, so we'll go do that. There we go. Now we can get all that hardwood. Even in Ireland, I got hardwood. I'm gonna keep making these jokes until I die. Oh, I think I got enough for... Wait, yeah, I got the... That part for Robin, so all I gotta do is just turn it in. Cool. around shaking the trees, getting at least coconuts. Ooh, gold coconut as well. This one's turning into Clint tomorrow. Ooh, two gold coconuts, hell yeah. Who knows, maybe we'll be lucky enough to get our banana saplings going. Got it's an Omni Geode, that's fine. No, I'm playing some mahog mahogany sapling down here just, just for now. So just get, well, that space isn't being used. Place one of our Juno chests down here. Nope, I want that one. Yeah, it's only got nine spaces as you can see, but if I put 
one down here and put one on the farm. I can just easily put bring these items between the two. Until I get myself a, the orc totems, this will be very important. Alright, get some more terror troopers down. Let's go do that. Don't go out of water because they're all because they're close to the beat water. I think I can trade these even though they're different qualities. Yes, I can. Cool. Alright, gotta get 30 bones for that. Not super important, but I still want to kind of get it. Oop, there's one. Come on, give me what I need. Nope. I won't say no tier tubers, just for growing some extra stuff, but still. Hey, mate, Leo. See you walking over there. I can hear the thunder going. Uh, yeah, there was one golden wall that needs to find up here. Where was it? Is it here? Just wanted to cover on my bases, make sure I got every single one thing I can get here. You wouldn't be surprised if I accidentally missed one of these a while ago. I only got this one. I think I might know where the last one is, but we'll see. There it is. Yeah, it didn't really look like a stone circle to me at first, but yeah, now that I, now I look at it, that's definitely what it is. Yeah, probably time to get to bed now. I'll just do a bit of final stuff on the island and head back home and start working the other quest that he's got for us. Okay, I'll probably bring some of that stuff back to the home and... There's some shards good for again. I know they're used for good stuff, bit of stuff, but I just want to double check. Okay, an oxygen incubator, which I need to pressure snails thing first. A few little things I can buy and in for in for using the forge, so I'll probably just put them in the chest for now. Fertilizer. And that should be good. The rain started. That's not too bad. Hopefully it'll help cool things off in down here. We'll check in the weather. 
cloudy and sunny. Some happy spirits said would be a good day to the mine. It's got a skull cavern, but see, got a bit extra cash from here. That's fine. Just thinking that. Let's see. Duck feather to Leo, and then all right. We end up getting a pudding recipe at least. I'll just do that and get back to town and get some work done on. Try and try and try and get Mr. Key's quest done. I already have vampire rings, so that's gonna be useful. Kind of curious if we can preload on the buffs for, for going into the, the desert mines or whatever. Skull cavern, the. Okay, I'm going up now, but just wanted to give you the give you your duck feather. I'm very close by. I'm guessing that means that there's something to the. Okay, I think I see what it means. Ah, okay, that's what it meant. Cool. Yeah, if I'm gonna beat get that gem puzzle left, I should have enough for the totem, but we're gonna have to wait on that because we got work to do. Yep, should be everything I need, so. Get back to the valley. Ooh, crowns. I'm pretty sure there are a few recipes I need those for. Ah, I forgot to buy the recipe. Ah, well. Yeah, I was supposed to buy the banana pudding recipe, but that's okay, because again, I'm not going to need it for a while. Alright, gotta drop off the hardwood for Robin, hee hee. I can wait a bit because remember the camp doesn't get up or bus start or up until like Well. Okay, let's at least plan what we're gonna need for the whole mine adventure. Oh, I can't talk to Abigail. Dang. Oh well. Okay, let's put these sprinklers in here for now. Drop a crab off. Throw away some junk I'm not gonna need. Those chair tubes I forgot to plant. Gold away, or did I leave it on the island? Oh, no, it's all here. Okay, good. That's been gold, or my. Some more wines ready. Barrels. Unless 
last one. Here we go. Wine's got to flow. here just for now just in case I need to sell a bit more you know use them for a different recipe I should keep that level three stuff in the chest because I'm only need that for the island no don't need don't need the eggs the raw eggs even our fish eggs I don't think you want to eat them Just store stuff I'm not gonna need here because I'm not gonna be needing food or anything, but bombs might be useful, some stone to make staircases. I'm not sure I was that in two stacks, but oh well. A whole stack of stone just to make some staircases if I need them. Let's make a few big bombs, just in case. It's sure the game says I need to use, get to the floor 100, but it doesn't say anything about using bombs or not. Anything else I want to do? Alright, I can break some geos while I'm over there. At Flint's, because again, I'm going to need to get some... Break those before we go in there. Right, I forgot to check the garbage already. Uh, Clint, you're open, buddy. Oh, well, I guess I'll do it some other day then. Oh, one thing I do over here is I actually get some seeds from Santiago. I do need some, I think they're beet or yam seeds from her. pick up some seeds from these cactus fruit and coconut because I do need them for the you know the obelisk once, once I have enough money for that how many beet seeds do I need uh I think I needed 15 of them let's see Okay, so I can also use them to get sugar as well, so I'll get a bunch of them. Everything else I don't really need, so... And again, waiting for the day, I get one of the things I need from those little worm clusters. Or roots or whatever they're supposed to be. Okay, decent amount of cactus fruit at least, for today at least. That's at least good. I could have sworn I... Okay, I did harp chip A beat already. Anyway, let's go into the mine. Yeah, see that slime down there has a big heart in it. If I kill it, it gives me some health back. Not too much, but... When you can't eat anything, it's, it's useful. Oh, hey! Hey, thanks for following Harold and Connor. And Coomer, how's the... How you like in the stream? I'm, I'm MK Cyborg, although my persona goes by Mech and I do a lot of variety streaming. Today I'm just doing a bit of Stardew Valley. Right now I'm just doing one of the Mr. Key quests where I have to get to 400 without using any food items. Ah, the serpent's in there. 
Vaguely power drill like sound and butts. It's just the. Uh, it sort of sounds like it, don't you think that? Part. I mean, like. Just drill for a second. There it is. Jeez, the ladder was not being cooperative today. No, put down the bomb. There we go. There we go, just get all those mini slimes up against the wall and just tear them all down and you can really get the health back. Cost me some health, but it might cost two. Oh, time to use a staircase. Staircase, staircase. So, uh, how much does it cost again? Uh, oh, 99 stone, and I think I accidentally put some away. Well, shit. I mean, we could always try tomorrow if need be, but. I'm just gonna use this moment to take some aggression out of these guys. I mean, at least there's only like three enemies. Well, more if you count the residual little slimes that are inside, but still. It'll be worse. I still do gotta kill slimes at one quest, so. Yeah, that's at least worth killing, so killing off the mummies. Do that much too much, but I do want to be a bit careful about blowing myself up because it does. Because again, I can't use food items to heal. So a little bit of damage is going to add up over time. for now. But you know, that could change. Oh, where's where's the hole? Where are the stairs? There it is. Right next to the bus. Pretty good luck there. A bit of a string of good luck there. Very good. We could some pretty more. That's always really makes these trips worth it. Okay, 
Gonna have to be a bit careful here. I can see all the, even just the small amount we get from, or kill from the health ring is gonna, helping add up. Yeah, sadly we can't kill the bugs with our sword though, because that would be useful for some easy health. Yeah, I'm feeling today wasn't a good luck day, but who knows, maybe it was. Probably just have to try again tomorrow. Okay, the good thing about coming back tomorrow is I'll give me a chance to buy some of those artifact troves, Jewel. Hope that was closer to... Gonna wake up, buddy? Get us a bit closer to being able to or being able to find the artifact trove we need. Serpent. I'm beating up here. 